Being able to execute reliably means being efficient in the way that you work. It's important to take control of your time. Always be a step in front of your client asks. Templatize your repeatable processes. Work smarter, not harder. Build a project stack. What's a project stack? Ah, well, that's a wonderful question. I would like to introduce you to Jean Perpignan, owner of JP Design Theory. Jean is a jack of many trades. He's been into technology since the Tandy 1000, and he's always looking for ways to do things better. I see you, Jean. I was a fellow Radio Shack shopper back in the day. Jean is here to share some tools and tricks to help you level up your workflow. Let's listen as Jean presents how to work smarter, not harder, with the perfect project stack. Hi, my name is Jean Perpignan, and I'm here today to talk to you about how to work smarter and not harder with the perfect project stack. Now, every website you build starts out the same way. So stop wasting time rebuilding from scratch over and over. In this session, you'll learn how to create a reusable collection of tools and task lists to templatize your approach and give you a head start on every project so you can spend your time customizing instead of recreating. Now, what is a project stack? It's essentially a collection of software tools and requirements like WordPress, your themes, and your plugins. Why? You're gonna to wanna to templatize your new site builds to speed up your development. It's gonna help you save time and it's gonna create efficiencies in your business. You'll deploy your project stack to ensure all of your client sites have your chosen tools so you can start customizing right away. This will save you time by not having to install these things individually. Now, where to save your project stack? It's important to save your project stack in a place that's convenient for you and your workflow. Somewhere you can easily add or edit your preferred tools. Now, you can save it locally. One option is to save it locally to your machine or the cloud. You can bundle your theme into a zip file or folder. A pro to this would be that it's easy to access and move around files and etc. A con would be that it's not easy to update the software versions. Another option is to use a local development tool like WAMP or MAMP. A pro to this would be that it's easy to add, edit, and perform software updates for your tools, your themes, and your plugins. A con would be that it can get technical and could cost some money. Another option would be to save it to a subdomain. Now, by doing this, you can build a staging site that's uh, not indexed by your existing account. Uh, essentially, it would be like mystack.mysite.com. A pro to this would be that it's easy to create, add, and edit, and update. A con would be that it requires an active hosting account with staging. The good news is you probably already have this available to you. Now, what's included in your project stack? So it's really all the tools that you already use within WP Admin. And that includes WordPress, of course. So as you'd expect, this includes your preferred theme or your theme builder and frameworks. Since this is a continuously evolving landscape, especially with the new full site editor feature coming to WordPress via the block editor and Gutenberg project. So some of these plugins or theme builders, if you will, uh, include the GoTheme, Elementor, Beaver Builder, Divi, Oxygen, and more. So now let's talk about plugins for common functionality. Every website has basic functionality needs. Here are three common functionality plugins every project stack should have. Contact forms. Your client site needs a contact form. Many are free and some are paid contact forms that are out there, some of them allowing you to build very advanced forms. Some of these plugins include Contact Form 7, Ninja Forms, Caldera Forms. They all have great solutions. And of course, the ever popular Gravity Forms. Now, so that you should know, Gravity Forms is a premium that's included in your managed WP hosting. Okay, so SEO. Yoast and others are really popular. Yoast is probably one of the most popular ones that are out there, and it's also included in your GoDaddy hosting. So there are a lot of security plugin options. Some of those include security, WordFence, and iTheme security. You should also know that there are included security scans within the hub. So now let's talk about plugins for specific functionality. Now, whatever your vertical or your specialty dictates, there are plugins that are out there for you to be able to use. So for example, if you're looking to build a real estate website, then you're probably gonna wanna use an MLS listing plugin within your stack. 
So now e-commerce is probably one of the most popular things that we're talking about today when it comes to WordPress websites. And WooCommerce is one of the most popular e-commerce plugins. Including this in your stack will allow for an easy and quick Woo installs. So if you build a lot of membership based sites, you're going to want to use some membership plugins. Now, connecting to Woo and Skyverge membership plugins are an option for you. Having these in your project stack will expedite the process. I'm going to link a, an article below that I want you to check out in the chat. Now, if you're building image heavy websites like fashion or photography websites, you're going to want to use a gallery plugin. Adding that to your stack will allow for easy repetition and recreation. Okay, so now that you've built your project stack, now what? You've created your living list of tools that will make your new site build process way more efficient. So let's discuss what comes next. Maintaining your project stack. The first thing you're going to want to do before utilizing your project stack is to make sure that all of your software is up to date. Using your project stack for kicking off your client builds. Now that you're ready to begin building your sites for your clients in a repetitive manner to ensure success, let's discuss two popular ways that you can do so. All right, so you can build sites locally. That means building it on your local machine or someplace where you can upload your files via FTP and then zipping them to an empty directory that includes all of your WordPress files. You can also build on a subdomain or a staging site. Depending on how your host is configured, you may be using a cPanel or a managed WordPress hosting option. All right, so now let's talk about deploying your completed builds. Your sites are built and ready to launch. Awesome. You can use the same two methods that I mentioned before to ensure a smooth launch process. One option for deploying your site would be to do it via FTP, and you can do that right to the live environment. Another option would be to clone and migrate your site. You can do that using a plugin. All right, so I'm building sites faster. Now what? So now that you're utilizing your project stack to ensure a swift and time-saving site kickoffs, your next step is to maintain your new client sites in a way that allows you to grow your business. Maintenance and monitoring. Now you can do this manually, but it's going to take you a whole lot of time and effort. I would suggest using the GoDaddy Pro Hub to ensure that your site stays secure, it's up to date, and it's easy for you to monitor their status. You're going to enjoy saving time and increase your profits by working smarter and not harder utilizing your project stack. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know in the chat below. Thanks.